Hello and welcome to the channel. Today in this video I will show you how to design this model from StartCAD CAM site and how macros can increase your speed when you are drawing something on Sketcher Workbench. If you like the content I have been producing, please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing Koi-Fi site. Link to this page can be found on the description of this video. Thank you. So now with the free card open it, what we have to do here is to create a new document, click on this plus icon and now select part design workbench, create body and a new sketch, this sketch here I will create in YZ plane, so I select this YZ plane here and now as you can see I have these custom macros here, I created these macros here, so if I press in this icon here, okay, as you can see I have this sketch here so what I have to do is to constrain this center point here to this origin point so I select this point here and now this point and I make constant okay and next here I'll set the dimension of this sketch here so first I select this constraint here and now I go to this drawing page and here I see a range of 55 for this arc here so I select this arc and I set 55 okay and for this arc here I have 28 and 21 for the diameter of this cycle here so here I select this arc and I set 28 and for this cycle here I set a diameter of 21 okay and now I have one degree of freedom so what I have to do so is to select this horizontal distance tool and now I select this center point here and this center point and I will set the distance to 120 okay and as you can see this sketch is constrained so I leave this sketch here and press home and next to select pad tool and I'll change the length here to this dimension here so I change here and enter and next here I create a new sketch in this face here and again I press in this macro here and as you can see I have this sketch here and now what I have to do is to constrain this sketch so I select this center point here and now this origin point again and constant Okay, and now I have this and next here I select this external drum tool and I extract this edge here this edge and this edge and now these two edges here okay and now I select this equal constraint and I make these two arcs equals and these two cycles equal and now these two arcs equal and now here I make these two points constant okay sorry control Z so here I can select this point here and this point and what I will set vertical constraint so as you can see this sketch is constrained now so next here I I will draw a rectangle so I select this rectangle tool and draw this rectangle here and next I select this string tool and I trim this line here and this line and now these two lines here and I select this arc and this line and I delete this line and next here as you can see we have these fillets here so what to do is to select this fillet tool and select these two lines and now these two lines and I have this and now I select these two arcs and I set equal and here we have a range of 20 we have this horizontal dimension here 70 and 20 for this line here so I select this constraint here and the range of this arc here I set 20 millimeters and now I select this constraint here and for this line here I set 7 and for this line here I set 20 okay and now we have this 
and now I select this merge constraint and select this point here, this vertical line, and now this point. And now I have two degrees of freedom. So what I have to do is to I can select this point here and this edge and this constraint here and now this constraint and I make this line and this line here parallel. So now I have this sketch constraint, so I leave this sketch here. I go to pad tool and here I check this option, reverse it and here I select up to face and now I select this face here and OK. So now as you can see we have this part here. And next what I will do is to draw this cylinder here. So I select this face here and create a new sketch. And here I draw a cycle. And I set the diameter of this cycle here to... Here we have a diameter of 8. So I change here to 8. And now I leave this sketch here and next I go to model and select this sketch here. Right click on mouse and attachment editor and here I'll change the value of the duration. I change this value here to 5 millimeters. So here we have this distance here. This distance is 5 millimeters. So here I change to 5 and enter and now I select this pad tool, set reversed and the length here I'll set 60, 60 and OK. So now I have this and next here I select this face and I create a hole in this face here and here we I change to Trogol and the diameter here I will set here we have 60 so I change here to 60 and OK I have this and now I select this face here and create a new sketch in this face here and here I select this centered rectangle tool and I draw this sorry here I select this tool and click in this horizontal line, this vertical line here and I draw this and now select this external geometry tool and I extract these two edges here and now here we have these dimensions, we have 20 here so I select this vertical distance tool and I set 20 for this line here and the distance here I will set I'll set 5 millimeters. Okay. Okay, so I delete this. I select this constraint here and now this point and this point here and I set 5 millimeters and now this horizontal distance tool and again select these two points here and I set 5 millimeters and now I leave this sketch here and go to pocket tool and the length here I will set I see 25 millimeters so I change here to 25 and OK I have this and now I have to create this wall here so what to do is to OK I select I select this face here and create a new sketch. Okay, or we can delete this sketch here and go to these features here. Click on this arrow here and select this cylinder here. And next, select this face here. And now we go to, we select this option, initial CS and as you can see, this cylinder is centered to this face here. And now here we change the ridge and the height of the cylinder. So, okay, here we have a diameter of 10, so the ridge here will be 5 millimeters. And now I press home and I change this height here. OK, 
okay as you can see we have the cylinder here so now I press okay and as you can see we have this wall here okay so next I can rotate this part here so isolate this part here and now ring click on mouse and I go to this option transform and and I rotate this object here and now as you can see we finished the design of this model here thank you for watching this video